Autocode is already one of the most powerful AI coding agents that's out there, living inside your terminal, handling insane levels of complexity and actively upgrading your entire development workflow. But lately, a new generation of frameworks have emerged that supercharge it even further. From Ralph Loop's persistent execution model to AutoClaude's autonomous spec-driven sub-agents, CloudCode just keeps evolving. And today, I want to showcase the next big upgrade. This is where I would like to introduce Cloud Canvas. This is a TUI toolkit that gives Cloud Code its own dedicated display, essentially an external monitor for your AI agent. It spawns rich interactive terminal interfaces for things like emails, calendars, flight bookings, and so much more, all directly within your terminal. Just take a look at this demo. So a lot of people are discovering Claude Code right now, and they're using it for things other than coding. And I'm also using Claude Code as like a personal agent and uh, to help me run my business. Draft an email to my co-founder, Mark, uh, saying that I'm really excited to see him when he comes to the Bay Area at the end of January. So I was using Claude Code to draft emails, and I didn't like the experience of working on emails in a conversation. So I thought, what if Claude had its own monitor? What would that mean? So I created a skill called Claude Canvas, that lets Claude spawn new panes where it can draw interactive interfaces. Uh, and this is just a, a simple example. Like when I'm writing emails to people, I like to see from to CC, BCC, subject, and the message. Oh, Jason's coming as well. Be sure to include him in the email. So this just helps me iterate in the way that I like. And uh, so, yeah, this is how I like to compose emails with Claude. It sort of recommend, it suggests the email to me and it shows it in the panel, and then I can iterate on it. Um, okay. I'm not going to send that email. I need to book some time uh, with our CTO Shay this week, uh, to talk to him about an upcoming project. Um, let's find a time that both he and I are available. So this was a, another use case that I had, uh, which was like booking a meeting with someone and I have tools that give cloud code access to, uh, uh, Google calendar. Um, uh, but when it explained mutual availability in the conversation, it was kind of hard to keep track of. So um, this is Claude Canvas uh, with a specific scenario for visualizing, you know, when when people might be available. And um, Claude Code really embraces the terminal, so all of this is rendering in the terminal. And uh, you can use your keyboard to find a time, uh, or you can uh, you can click, and it's going to give me a second to confirm it, and it's confirmed. And uh, that information is uh, communicating two way with Claude, so so it can it can come back and forth. Um, and uh, let's see one more. Um, I need to book a flight uh, to Denver this week. What are some options? One more uh, use case I had was my dream is that one of these agents will book travel for me. That just seems like the obvious low hanging fruit or first use case for agents. Um, but you know, there's a lot of information when you're booking a flight. So this is a, a scenario in uh, Claude Canvas for showing flight information, and it's pretty basic. But you know, it shows the seat map and all the little pieces of information I might care about. And then you know, if I want to compare different flight options, it sort of visualizes it all in this compact way. And I can close it. So yeah, those are my first scenarios uh, in Cloud Canvas, and I will open source it as a Cloud plugin that you may want to try. Thanks. Huge props to David for actually creating this and making this plugin open source. I'll leave his Twitter in the description below. But to get started, you have a couple of requirements. You're going to need to make sure that you have Bun installed, used to run the skills tools, as well as Tmux. The canvases spawn in a split pane because of this. So make sure you have these two installed. You're obviously going to need to make sure you have Claude code installed with a billing link to it so that you can actually use it. But something interesting that you can also use is this forked repo where someone was able to actually create another version of Claude Canvas. But essentially, this one uses iTerm2 and Apple Terminal as well. With this, you have it so that it is definitely only for macOS specific users, but it uses a native terminal window and a pain API. It is also going to be having you auto position canvases automatically. It has a smoother UX with this, but it is something that won't work for Windows, which is the only downside. And it won't work remotely and less portable in this particular use case. And just to reiterate, if you do not have cloud code, I'll leave this in the description below because you will need this to have this started up. But once you have cloud code opened up within your terminal, you can do that by typing in Claude. You can then go ahead and install this plugin by using the slash plugin marketplace command to add the Claude canvas to your Claude code. 
Afterwards, you'll see that it has been added. And now what you got to do is install the Canvas plugin and you can use the following command to do that as well. You have the option to install it for your own user scope or for all the collaborators of your workspace. I'm going to be doing it for my scope. And then once it has been installed, we can start using it directly within Claude code. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. And just to showcase that it works, I simply just sent in a prompt to showcase different panes of TMUX working within our Claude code terminal. But you'll get to see that now with this enabled, your cloud code experience is going to be a lot better because you're going to be able to get better visualization of different prompts. And obviously, this is not something that is super incredible or anything, but it is just going to simply let you visualize this TUI a lot better with your experience with cloud code. It could be writing simple emails, or it could be something where you're tracking a to-do list. You're going to have a better experience essentially with whatever sort of task that you're working with Cloud Code. Here is an email draft that it had created, and you can see that you can visualize this directly within Cloud Code, and you can make changes directly live in preview with this canvas. So, this is just another view. This is just a calendar app that was fully visualized within our Cloud Code session. Not an app that it created, but thanks to Tmux, it was able to visualize all of the dates now it looks a little off because i don't have it properly uh, formatted but you can see that you get a good idea of what you can do with this canvas you can visualize things you can write up emails you can even have it work on flight details and since i'm on windows i believe my output isn't properly structured whereas on mac os you get better generation with tmux and you can see that a flight booking terminal looks absolutely amazing in this case on a mac os device if you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different ai tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily ai news and exclusive content plus a lot more but that's basically it guys for today's video on claude canvas this is just a small toolkit that you can easily get started with that will definitely elevate your cloud code experience. These frameworks that I'm showcasing nowadays are definitely things that you should take a look at because it truly enhances your overall development workflow a lot better. So I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter, join our second channel, as well as our Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.